Should a person spit, having rinsed or washed his mouth out generally, or after making wudu? Normally when people fast, there are some people who think that after you gargle your mouth with water or rinse your mouth with water, then they should spit out because, you know, maybe some water will be followed. But the general ruling is that most of the scholars agree that once you gargle the mouth and after expulsion of the water from the mouth, there's no need to spit. It's not a requirement. And even those few scholars who say you should spit, it's only once. But there are some people who spit several times. Some people even take a cloth and they dry their mouth, you know, after gargling, thinking that the water will, you know, go into the stomach, which is absurd. Because normally when we see and we read the seed of the Prophet and the lifestyle of the Sahabas, many a times when they drank water just before Fajr, before beginning the fast, when they heard the Fajr Azan, they stopped drinking. But we have never heard of any Sahaba spitting out after drinking water. If you have to spit while gargling, the people when they have water just before starting the fast at the end of the sohr, when they heard the azan, surely some hadith would have said that the Sahaba, they spat, you know, so that the water doesn't go into, which is not seen. And while doing wudu, when you gargle the mouth, rinse the mouth, and you expel the water, that's it. Even if you have to spit maximum, I think once is sufficient. You can't go beyond that spitting several times and, you know, taking a cloth and drying your mouth. Everything else that remains can be counted as part of the saliva. There's no problem at all. You can't make life difficult for you. It's good to know that, actually. It would make life very difficult when one was fasting if we had to do that. Thank you very much, Dr. Zakir.